Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Oh, I left a little copper up there. So we got our iron farm, which is just ready to get set up and activated. I need a few things. Do I have some glass over here? I think I do. Yeah, I have some glass here. So let's go upstairs and craft a couple things because this is after all Minecraft. So I need a few things. And then we have to go and move some villagers. Okay, so we have here, I need a detector rail or six. I'll take six. I don't really need six, but activator rail. How, how is that made? Iron, redstone torch. I have the makings of redstone torch. Okay, let's make some more activator rails too. Um, six of those so let's make some redstone torches <laughs> do we only need one activated rail i can get six out of that okay that's good and then the red, let's make the rest of these redstone torches because i don't know that i'll need them and we can put that redstone dust away and then I need some levers. I have some downstairs, I think. If not, I can get some. And we're gonna need bricks, we're gonna need blocks, and daylight. Make sure I've got a stack of levers down here. I do not, I need a stack of levers. So I've got some redstone torches here. Okay. Let's go make some levers, because that's easy enough. I have plenty of cobblestone. Ooh, ice is ready to harvest. Okay, so, villager farm has been working perfectly. Uh -huh. There's a bunch of them in there. I've got a bunch in here. Way more villagers than I need. Um, so what I plan to do is put down some rails here. Right, so plop, 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 plop. And then we take out this fence post here. Plop. And I start laying in some bricks. Plop, plop. And then we run that way. Lay down some powered rails to get the villagers over there when I extract them from the villager farm. The villager breeder. Now we can connect. So, the first one, let's do the hard one first, which is going to be over here. So, I want... Do I want it that level? Switch back to my pick, please. Do I want it at that level? Yes. I think I do. Okay, so now No, this is the wrong place, but I want it to be right next to where I have it. I should probably put down some actual torches here because that's probably not too dark, but just to be safe. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Take out these. Oh, that'll work. 
Okay, so come up here. I want this to go by the bed, essentially. So I want to deposit the villager right here. Now this is where I need the activator rail and the detector rail. Activator and detector rail and blocks of glass. So here's what worked for me in a creative world, in a test world. Now the orientation wasn't exactly right here, but we will make it work. So I put down a detector rail here. And then I put down an activator rail here. And then I put a block of glass on top of this and a block of glass on top of this, which was a regular rail, just like this block of glass here. So the villager would go through this block of glass here, the activator rail would kick them out. They, they'd paw out of here and then they'd pop over here. That's, that's the idea. See how well this works. Um, I don't want too much momentum going up there. We'll see if this actually helps or works. And it's, this is the approach here. Okay, so we'll have plenty of uh, powered rails here. And then I'll throw down a few more just to be, just to make sure that they have enough momentum to get up there. And we'll put down a lever. Where'd my levers go? Oh, here. Put that lever here, go click. Okay, that's on. And then more regular rail here and maybe oops maybe we put a couple power rails right here oops, just to get a last minute boost and up and maybe we add a couple here I've got plenty of powered rails and i've got levers galore so that should then get them up here. The detector rail will power temporarily the activator rail, which will rock the thing and it'll let it out. And in theory, the villager should end up going onto the bed. Let's find out if it works that way. And this minimal design, I was always wondering why the villagers stayed on the bed. Why didn't they didn't jump off? Well, even if they're scared by a zombie, they don't feel the need to leave. And when they glom onto the bed, oh, I didn't light this at all, but there's rails on it. Yeah, it's got rails on it. I don't think anything can spawn on the rails. Um, when they 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 find a bed they claim that bed they get little particles little healing particles and then they're like this is my bed i don't want to leave should i sleep to get rid of the night yeah it's still it's pretty late Let me go ahead and sleep here just so i don't have to deal with stinking phantoms Minecarts. Now, the minecart here, I push it along here. It should pick up one of the villagers and then he'll take off. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Oh, and, and the non. Uh, um, cold biome villager. Interesting. Okay, I can't keep up with him for obvious reasons. I, I guess I could have thrown down another minecart road after him, but and then hopped out at some point. But I didn't want to screw up the momentum. Ah. Uh, 
Okay, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Let me pick up the mine cart. Ha. Huh. Dude. How'd you get in there? Did I leave those trap doors open? Okay. He wants one of the beds, clearly. Let's, uh, let's help him. Okay, now laying down rail from in uh, here, I may update this water. I may create a big mess. We'll find out. There we go. Mine cart. Let's see if we can actually observe what happened here. Oh! Huh. Interesting. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's relay out things here a bit. I bet... Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Okay. This is funny. Uh -huh. The, uh... The detector rail here... Is... Uh -huh. I wonder if this would work. Uh, so the detector rail is triggering those trap doors and giving him a path... To, uh, to get out. Okay. So, um, let's, uh, let's not use the detector rail. Let's just use the activator rail. See if this works. If it does, then we can... Then we're good. Otherwise, we're going to have to reroute that and try... Okay. Sorry, dude. You got hurt a little bit. Hopefully... Uh -huh. Get you into your location, you'll be happy. Uh -huh. Or you're gonna die. Uh -huh. Oh, shoot. Uh -huh. I have a workstation here. This is the dumbest thing ever. Okay, let me go get some chests. Hey, dude. I'm going to disappoint you so badly. So let's, uh... Break this. A fisherman. Now he's back to being a regular Joe. Okay, so, what else? I have other miscellaneous things here that I don't need in my pocket for this step. I don't need all of these. I don't need those. Okay. Where'd he go? Uh-oh. I have a villager on the loose. I just heard him. Did he head back up here? Okay. So how about we get another villager? <laughs> if I can find that guy, we'll do something with him. But for the time being... <laughs> Oh, 
Well, he didn't come back up here, it doesn't look like. Dude! Okay. So he wants the beds. Okay, so we do a couple things here then. We move this. Ah, how do I how do I deal with this? I have plenty of villagers. So I can keep this up for quite a while. Um, how about I put this up a level? Let's get him back in a mine cart so he doesn't wander too far. Where are you going? <laughs> okay, he's lost. Um, so let us do this just so that we don't have any more of that in the future. And I don't have to worry about these them going in here. So that other guy's probably up there as well. Okay, so activated rail. Goes here with a piece of glass on top of that. Plop the detector rail. Goes here. Regular rail goes here with a piece of glass on top of that. And then here it's just regular rail. I don't want them moving too quickly when they get to this point. And then I'll put... Uh, Powered rails down here. Is that all powered? No. Oh, actually it is. Okay. Now let me put a torch up here just so I can see things. So the idea is they'll get kicked out here and then the beds over here, there's nowhere for them to go on this side. So hopefully it just jumps down into the bed. That's the hope. See what happens. Try another one. Now I'm glad I've got like 12 villagers in here. So this guy is biome appropriate. Dude! Oh, I wish I could see what he did. Okay, oops. Let's get him back in a cart. Okay. Okay, so now let me see what happened with him. Maybe I need to put additional barriers up. Like, um, put some stone bricks over here. So he can't get out that way. And then over here, put essentially a chute. So there's only one place for him to go. So he goes and he falls down onto the bed. That's the only place where he can go. 
That's the idea. Let's see if that works in practice. Okay, so he's in a cart. I can redirect him over this way. Uh, will that work? We can do that. Okay. And then I can put him... Oh, wow, that was all the regular rail that I had in my pocket. I should probably have a little more as a contingency. Huh. Okay, dude. Let's try this. Huh. I want to watch it happen. I would say, so clearly I don't know what I'm doing. This worked perfectly well in my creative world. I wonder if he's not far enough away from... Get this minecart back. I wonder if he's not far enough away from... The, uh, the, the breeder up there. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> or if this is too high up. Should we try lowering this one brick? One block? Let's try that. Okay, so the idea here is... Oh, yeah, I've got... Okay, good. Okay, activate a rail. There. Detect a rail. There. And yeah, regular rail. There. Okay. And then... Because he bounced like that. And I need to arrest that bounce. So... Let's, uh, I got this glass. Put glass here. Right? No. So let's make a little tube for him to fall into. And then he'll stop bouncing. Right? That's at least the idea. So there. And there. He'll then fall down and then go bounce, bounce, bounce. And, oh. I can't get out of that. Okay. And he shouldn't be able to get out of it either. And then I could leave, I guess, the glass around him because he can still see the zombie then. I don't, that's fine. I don't care. Okay, dude. Let's get you back up there. At least the the bed arrested his uh, momentum, so he didn't take any damage, which is nice. Okay, let's try this. I'm gonna watch this now. Ah. Okay, so let's remove some of those blocks of glass. That should be his bed now, right? Should I reinforce this just for now so that he doesn't even try to get out? Because in theory, he could jump up onto this, and then I can remove those when I 
get everything in place. Okay. Oh, this is annoying. Okay. One villager on his bed. That block is not necessary. Huh. Okay, so now we need to do a similar thing here. Ready? Here we go. Next guy. Oh, another biomes. Biome appropriate villager. Oh, hello. Um, okay. That actually was kind of good. Give me a little nudge. Good to go up. Go get that cart. Where do you get stuck? Huh. You need a little uh, encouragement here? I think so. So let me get some blocks on the bar. Make sure that you can't escape. Whoa. There you go. Hi, dude. Okay. That's number two. Oh. Okay. Regular brown coat. Just a plains villager. That's fine. Oh, look. Everyone is standing on their bed. Excellent. Okay. Hi. You guys are all perfectly safe. For now. Okay. Pick up all my bits and pieces. Minecart. Okay, so. So now I think we need to just do kind of a similar thing with the zombie, but he just needs to go over the uh, his holding cell. And I can drop him from higher up. I don't need... Uh, uh, I don't need... He won't take damage because he'll be falling in water. And I just want to make sure that the activator and uh, detector rail are nowhere near those trapdoors. So he doesn't have a way of escaping. Right. So then the question becomes, how do we get the zombie? And I've got a few ideas. <laughs> 